I want you to have it, Sen. Good night, Senpai.
You're back. Kidding? Hey, big bro.
actually scared that I can't remember anything. Everything about me is borrowed. Everything is just on loan from that room. If I return what I borrowed, I won't have anything left. The name Marie, this body, this voice. They'll all fade away. I feel like that's what'll happen to me. So I thought, if only I could at least remember something. But I couldn't figure out anything. It's really scary. <sighs> Maybe I don't have any real memories to find. It's beautiful. Hey, is this that one place? We came here after eating the steak skewers. It really is nostalgic here. I don't know why, but it feels like I've known this scenery since a long time ago. I had fun then. Take me there again sometime, okay? Of course I remember, you stupid jerk-faced twerp. I remember. It's a memory. A memory of you and me. Huh. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> I feel stupid now. It feels... incredible. Hey, can we make more? More memories? Dummy, <laughs> of course you will. I can't make any without you. I don't have to hurry, huh? Even if I don't have memories, I can make more. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, it's just that I'm happy. really are a weird person. You're so busy and yet you still take time to take care of me. Why do you do that? Why? Friend. I see. So this is what it means to have friends. Thank you. I'm so happy. Look, I'm really counting on you. So let me say, stupid, I hate you. Welcome back. Sorry to bother you.
Welcome! Thanks, man.
I see. Now then, first off, sorry, but can you go call Nanako down here? Take your time. You told me to go over there. Today is a special day for us. A special day? That's right. Today's the day when you, me, and him become family. What about before? Uh, well, anyways, it's the day that we become a real family. Hmm. I don't really get it, but it makes me happy. All right, let's eat. Yeah! Uh, well... <laughs> uh, sorry about making you go along with this. Huh. You're a nice guy. I felt like I needed to do this to draw the line. And I wanted Nanako to know. She has to know how important my daughter is to me. <laughs> She's looking more and more like Chisato. Her smile, her strong attitude. It was hard for me to even look at Nanako's face because she reminds me so much of Chisato. Chisato died because she went to pick up Nanako. There were times when I'd come close to believing that. But even then, 
I can't count the number of times she saved me just by being there. If I was living by myself, I would never have thought about taking you in. I think I was scared. Scared to have someone else around. I was afraid we'd become a family. And then I'd lose it all again. I was running away by chasing a guy who'd run away himself. <laughs> it was almost funny. I've been scared this whole time. That's why I used revenge as an excuse to not spend time with her. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Running, regretting, that crap all ends tonight. I'm not gonna lose the things that are important to me. Never again. That's the strength you've shown me. Thanks. Morning, senpai. Yo. So are you ready for the trip yet? This guy won't shut up about it. <laughs> Yosuke senpai hasn't even started packing. He's all like, was that tomorrow? What's up with that? You are way too excited about this. I mean, you're even worried about how many boxes of animal crackers to bring. We're only gonna be there for two nights, dude. Besides, I'm pretty sure they have convenience stores in Port Island. For serious? I've never really left this place, so... Huh. I wonder if the murders here got as much play over there, too. Like that Mitsuo Kubo dude. They're still showing him on TV here. Every time I switch on the tube, the news is showing, like, what he wrote in his yearbook. This is... The freaking media slapping together anything they can find to make the dude look like a born criminal. People think they can say anything they want about a guy who's been branded a criminal. It's just not right. I mean, I still hate the guy's guts. But I don't know. After getting involved with all this, I started to realize how off-base most rumors are. It's so messed up. Well, I gotta admit, the news can be pretty out there. Hey, it's Naoto. Yo, how's it going? Good morning. Uh, oh, yeah. I I'm on duty today. <laughs> well, see you later. <sighs> He's the messed up one. What is it? That's so. Huh?
Wow, what's up with this place? Wait, if we can't beat them on size, we're totally sunk. Well, <clears throat> next I will explain about our fine educational institution and the reasons for its establishment. I'd like to start with a proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Oh, is this principal in love with his own voice or what? Chie, he'll hear you. <coughs> Our school is closed today. But uh, because of this rare opportunity for cultural exchange, some of our students will walk you through these halls. First, though, a student body representative will say a few words. Thank you, Principal. Welcome to GeckoCon High School. My name is Chihiro Fushimi. I'm a third-year student and the student council president here at GeckoCon. It's an honor to meet you all today. Holy crap, that girl's unbelievable. Yeah, you're right. She is cute. I gotta say, she's the most bewitching, bespectacled beauty I've ever beheld. You guys, stop overreacting. This is the first time our school has invited another student body for a true cultural exchange. To learn about others is to learn about oneself and is the first step on the road to self-betterment. This I believe. To ensure a worthwhile experience for each and every one of you, we will do our best to help you accomplish that. So let us enjoy our time together. Thank you very much. She beat me in every category. All right. Everyone get into groups with your classmates. Oh, no. Excuse me, could I bother you for a moment? today's schedule for everyone. Could you hand it out later, please? I forgot to do it myself. Sorry to be so disorganized. And you all came so far. <laughs> In fact, I didn't write the speech on my own. One of the former student council presidents helped me. She was the president my first year here, and she was amazing. I always looked up to her. I should call her later and tell her the speech was a success. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen to me going on and on about myself. I have to stop babbling when I get nervous. Um, your group is scheduled for a special lecture soon. The classroom is on the second floor. I have some arrangements to make with your student council, so please excuse me. Did I just hear her say, special lecture? We came all this way to be lectured? Let's see, our class is... It's being taught by someone named Mr. Etagawa. The lecture's about... Kabbalah. Kabbalah what? You don't know? It's a casino. So, when's our free period? Uh, ooh, we don't get one. We have classes all through today. Tonight and tomorrow we'll be staying at a hotel. We'll have free time tomorrow and the day after until we leave at noon. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, guys. Let's focus on our studies for now so we can enjoy our free time later.
All righty, here we are. The Seaside Clamshell Inn. We'll be staying here tonight. Is this really a regular hotel? So, what do you think? It was me who found this place. It just opened not too long ago. It's got that modern look. And the price was right. Personally, I think it was an excellent choice. We're staying here? I mean, the sign says hotel, but... It opened recently. Dude, this totally looks like a love. You there, don't just stand there. Keep marching in. Isn't there something funny about this place? Is there? We don't have these modern hotels in Inaba, so I can't tell. Um, this area is called Shirakawa Boulevard, and it's... That's all right, Rise. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Faster than I expected. This is quite the hotel. If they were to meet me, I wonder, what would the look on Yosuke's face be? Oh, oh, who's that? Look, up there! <gasps> it can't... Ah! <laughs> heh, 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 shooby dooby. Teddy, what are you doing here? The lonely bear inside of me went stir-crazy! If only I could detect people in the real world. How'd you get here? Do you have some special ability? Eh, I took the train. I swore off topsicles and saved up the money I got working at Juness. I knew where you were going thanks to Yosuke's trip guide. You guys have free time tomorrow, right? No use hiding it, I already know. How in the world did you make it here looking like that? I mean, why wear the bear suit here? I almost got thrown in the trash a couple times, but I kept hanging on to the promise Chie-chan made to go on a date with me. That's what gave me strength to carry on. Uh, good job, Teddy. D did I promise that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I do remember saying that I'd go out with you someday. Whee! You remember, Chie-chan? Is it okay with Yuki-chan and Rise-chan, too? Let's all go together, then. Is that all right with you? Mm, it's a deal. I've been here before, so I'll show you around tomorrow. I guess we can go shopping first. And I know a great place we can hit later on. Ooh, shopping! That sounds great! The other students don't know Port Island that well, so they're just gonna go wherever the school recommends. Well, I guess a shopping spree beats a factory tour. All right, we're in two. <laughs> Leave it to me. Now, before the fun starts, we gotta deal with this guy. Can't you sleep outside for the night? That suit should keep you nice and cozy to animals. You don't know how much trouble I went through to get here. I took the slow train all this way. Do you hear? The slow train. Now, now, you kids aren't bickering about your room allocations, are you? Oh, crap. What's the matter? Oh, what's this giant teddy bear?
Mmm, I see you like cute things. All right, now hurry on inside with it. By the way, these rooms are amazing. Every room has a waterbed. But uh, don't flip the wrong switch when you're turning on the lights or your bed will start spinning. Anyways, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm exhausted for so many reasons. I gotta pee. Whoa! So this is a club. Woo! I'm totally ready for this! There's nothing like this back home. Is it permitted for high school students such as yourselves to be here? What? Dude, look who's talking. You were here before we were. That's right. I guess if the first years came on the trip, you'd be here too. The clientele here seems above board, so I don't expect there'll be any problems. Huh? You're leaving? Why don't you join us? Are you asking me to stay? Uh huh. We didn't get to chat last time. Uh, I. It's just that I had some matters to attend to that day. Well, you're free now, right? I was really eager to talk to you. I'm curious how someone my age is working as a detective. How about it? Mm, very well, if you insist. Huh? What's up? You look a little red. That's not true. Wait here. I'll go reserve the area upstairs for us. Okay. Hmm. 
Wait, what? Reserve? Yep. Don't worry. I think I can pull some strings. <clears throat> What's wrong, man? Stomach pains? Mm, that ain't it. Are you sure this is all right? Isn't it expensive? No worries. Two years ago, when I had a secret show here, the power went out in the middle of it and the gig was canceled. They still owe me from then, so they're willing to put this one on the house. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm gonna order more! Woo! I'm not gonna hold back either! Dude, you sound even weirder today. Oh, you're so cold, Kanji. Mm. Kanji, Kanji, Kanji. I conjecture that something's up. <laughs> That's a great one. Man, you're already in high gear. <laughs> Conjecture. <laughs> uh, she's looser than usual too. Hey, wait a sec. Are these liquor? Uh, I told them to give us soft drinks. They're non-alcoholic. Mm. I told them. Really, I did. Really. Ah, oh, sheesh. I was wondering why it's so hot. Is this seriously booze? <laughs> but the smells... King's Game! Times like this, adults play the King's Game. It's the law. <laughs> What's their problem? They make me act like a ditz, call me resent and stuff, and then say I'm a kid? It's so obvious. Those rap parties get a lot funner after I go home. Morons! I'm gonna play the king's game now, and ain't no one gonna stop me. Yet another side of Risa exposed. I wonder if she knows what she's saying. Kanji! Get the chopsticks ready! What? Why me? The king's word is law! Chop, chop! It, it's already started? Um, what's this king's game again? Okay. One chopstick makes you the king if you draw it, and the others have numbers on them. The king picks the number and says what that person has to do. But who has which number is a secret until the king gives the orders. Senpai, you're such an adult. You tell him. Yukiko? Where'd you learn this stuff? Come on, everyone drop.
Okay, so... Who's the king? Teddy's is red! Red! Is Teddy the king? <sighs> We're already doomed from the get-go. The king command thee to smooch the king without delay. Smooch. Smooch. Please, God, grant me a girl. Number one! I'm at number two! No take backs! Smooch! Smooch! A bear's chastity. True love needs a sacrifice just for you, Sensei Teddy. Oh, only the first round and two contestants have dropped out already. Huh? Is it that kind of game? On to round two! Who's the king? Phew, someone decent. No crazy orders this time. That's not how it goes. If the last king demanded a smooch, then the next order's gotta be more extreme. T.A., don't be such a party pooper. Hey! The person who gets picked should have to rest their head on the king's lap. <laughs> nah, make him sit on his lap. Oh, or they could have to hug him. Better than that, a piggyback ride. Come on, king. Who's gonna do what? <laughs> I'm number three. Y Yukiko san, how else would you hug someone who's sitting down? <laughs> Actually, the queen. You didn't even draw a chopstick. All right, then. Let's have someone talk about something really embarrassing that they'd never want to tell anyone. Hmm, let's see. Oh, no, Token. I choose you. She's breaking all the rules. Just ignore her, Naoto. No. No, that won't be necessary. One stipulation, though. If I do this, the rest of you must reveal something as well. Okay. No particularly embarrassing experiences come to mind. Would discussing my life be... It's the rare situation like this that gives me call to speak of such things. Damn, way to kill the mood. The Shiragane family has been detectives for generations now. 
We lend our powers to the police from time to time. For generations? Wow, it's like that guy from a movie I watched before. What was his name? Kuzu... Noha? In days gone by when there were no crime scene investigators, consulting detectives were considered more valuable. Thus, my grandfather still has a strong connection with the police and looks after me, despite my youth and inexperience. But investigators nowadays are well-versed in science and medicine, so I must further my studies. That sounds tough. Uh... That's it? No punchline? <sighs> I fear you may be looking to the wrong person for that. That's so embarrassing! Isn't Hotokum embarrassing? I want to go home. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Well then, it's your turn now. Straight answer, please. What is your true involvement with the murder case? You know, you're so good at killing the mood that it's almost funny. Well, we go rescuing people who've been kidnapped by jumping into the TV. And then we do stuff like Persona with our personas and beat the crap out of Shadow. You idiot! Are you making fun of me? It's true! Persona! Gee, someone put these two drunks to bed already. I see now that you had no intention of telling me the truth. But I'm curious, how did you become so inebriated? This isn't alcohol. Good one, Naoto! No. I confirmed it when I first entered. No alcohol has been served here since a rash of drunk driving last year. Huh? Does that mean we're all just drunk off the atmosphere? Who cares? <laughs> it feels so good. Good night! Hey, Senpai! How the hell are we gonna get back with two passed out drunks? Oh, this is giving me a big headache. Is this what a hangover feels like? Teddy's still totally okay. <laughs> Let's keep drinking till morning. Bring it on. As I said, you haven't been drinking alcohol. Are you a pack of imbeciles? ramen in town. When we were filming, a lot of times I came here instead of eating box lunches. Hmm? You're not hungry? Um, <laughs> what happened last night? I don't remember much about it. Oh, I think the two of us fell asleep quick. I heard it got pretty wild, though. I see. I don't remember at all. Ah, this flavor never changes. I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrates, so being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. Hmm, this is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. See? See? Another bowl, please. Keep the noodles hard. Um, I'll have the hug of curry bowl. The hug of curry bowl's a normal menu item now? Oh, I should have asked. 
Oh well, this is just as good. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Sure, no prob. See those signing boards? My autograph's up there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? Huh? Where's my bowl? You didn't eat it, did you? Y you didn't finish, so... <laughs> going to finish it hey didn't you just order more a second ago how many have you eaten I don't know how to count you little liar give me that check Let's see here one two ten bowls Yuki chan's makes it 11 <clears throat> I was going to finish mine they were there I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. Oh, already? I thought the trip was gonna be a bore, but now that it's over, I actually had a good time. Hey, let's buy a souvenir at the station. I bet Nanako-chan will be expecting one. All right, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. Yo, hey. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little. D dude, hey, he ain't moving. I is he hibernating? Hey. No, no, don't, don't tell me. It's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? Are you serious? Teddy! <clears throat> My tummy's heavy. Leave it behind. I ate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Oh, Yukiko, wait for me. <clears throat> hey, I really can't move. And I don't have the money for a return ticket. Farewell, Teddy. We shall leave you here, along with our memories of youth. TV. There are tall buildings and a bunch of people and an ocean and stores. Wow! Thanks! Whoa, cool! Oh! Oh, you're back. We just missed each other, huh? Hey, nice. 
Did you remember to thank him? Of course! <laughs> I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. You talk to him much? He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. Adults can be a selfish bunch. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. Why don't you take a bath? Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. Nanako, can you get the bath ready? Welcome back.
welcome to Nightline's special Night Watch Report. A suspect in the murders in Inaba was safely arrested recently, but what few people know is that the mastermind who brought him to justice was a high school detective. Tonight's report will focus on this detective prince, Naoto Shirogane, whose handsome looks are sweeping the nation. Thanks for being on the show. No, no. The pleasure is all mine. Oh, his uniform's the same as yours. First, congratulations to you and the police for your recent arrest of the culprit. It was well known that there were a lot of mysteries surrounding this case, and you did a great job clearing them up. I'd hesitate to say that the matter is cleared up as such. It's true that our suspect was behind Mr. Moraoka's unfortunate, but when I cast my eye over the case as a whole, I detect a few things that seem out of place. Oh? Unfortunately, I cannot divulge details at this time, but this matter claimed the lives of three people. Hence, I believe even the smallest inconsistency must be investigated. I... I see. I have to say, this is a surprise in light of the police's official statement. Now for our next segment, The Detective Prince's True Identity, where Nato-kun tells us a little bit about himself. Amazingly, the Detective Prince has solved a whopping 24 cases. 16 of them were... There's a detective at your school? When I'm older, I'm gonna go to your school, too. Yo! Hey, did you see the show on TV last night? That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer. But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? So it's true that he helped solve the case. I'm kind of surprised, though. I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. Good morning. I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey, where's your uniform? Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? What is it? First, as regards commonalities between the victims, all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention, becoming suddenly well-known. That is the most likely scenario. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? to state my point. Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Rise Kujikawa. All of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances in order to since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. You thought one of us was the killer? Oh, you can't be serious! This was a prior theory, since discarded. Putting together everything I've learned until this moment, I believe exactly the opposite. You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, 
everything falls into place. Of course, this is all speculation. There is in fact a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident, Mr. Moraoka's murder. He has never been broadcast on television, and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his court. The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause. But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy, yet they are desperate to close the case. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. Further action? What do you mean? Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. You said something interesting to me not long ago. Hey, where are you going? This is not a game for me, Eat. Naotokun? You know, I just looked outside. Let's take a walk in a bit. There's somewhere I want to go with you and Nanako. Oh, here, have this. It's the same kind that Nanako and I use. This is your personal mug. Write your name on it later. No problem. Take good care of it. We're family. So I'll fill yours and Nanako's mugs anytime. Don't forget that. Ready, Dad? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Big Bro. Don't fall in. Why'd we come here? Well, you've been saying all the time how you wanted to come here, right? Let's come again on a nicer day. We can have a picnic. Yeah! Yay! Can I go closer to the river? The fish might be sleeping. All right, all right. Watch your step, okay? Okay. That look on her face. I haven't seen it in a long time. Huh. I am going to keep up my search for the criminal who ran over Chisato. This time, it's not to escape from anything. I'm just doing it because I'm a detective. Seems I forgot something as basic as that. You made me remember what's important to me. I owe you for that. This town is my town. It's the place where you and Nanako live. That's why I'm gonna live on, protecting this place. As a detective, as a father.
still after us. What the? Hey, that's... You there! What's wrong? Detective Dojima? I I'm sorry to bother you while you're off duty. I don't sweat it. Who are they? Oh, it's that group of juvie thieves. You know, the one that's been the talk of the town? Thieves? Those punks. Dad, are you going? Yeah. Arresting the bad guys is my... I mean, your father's job. Sorry, but take care of Nanako. Don't worry about me. Don't you know who I am? I'm Detective Dojima of the Inaba PD, feared by punks and thugs citywide. Don't you two worry about me. Head on home, okay? All right, stop right there, you punks! Go get him, Dad! He's so cool. Let's go home. I need to get the bath ready. Oh, and let's make a late night snack. I'm hungry. What? Hey. Hey.
on, right? Now that the killer's been caught, do we still gotta worry about the Midnight Channel? But then, someone said the blurry image seemed like an advance notice. What exactly is the Midnight Channel, anyway? Did it have anything to do with the murders? Ah, this is so frustrating. Hey, what do you think? Did you recognize who appeared just now? Naoto? Why would he show up on TV? Now that you mention it, I wonder what he thinks about the Midnight Channel. Ah, I don't get this at all. It's gonna keep nagging at me, I can tell. I'm sure the others saw it too, so let's get together tomorrow and talk about it. Night. So, about the Midnight Channel last night. I wonder who that was. I talked to Teddy, and he says no one's entered the other side. Well, yeah, the killer's been caught. Yeah. Huh? What's up? Come on, get with the program. You saw the TV last night, right? So? It's got nothing to do with us. The killer's behind bars, man. You guys are overreacting. Yeah, that shit Nauto said didn't make any sense either, so there's no use getting all worked up about it. Huh? Naoto-kun? Uh, no, well, how do I put it? What, were you out of it because you were still thinking about what Naoto said? <laughs> so you're still hung up on all that stuff. That's... I ain't hung up on it! It's okay, we all understand. Just don't go overboard, man. You little... I said that's not it! I got stuff to do. I'm out of here. Stop bringing that up, Yosuke. You know he doesn't think it's funny. Oh, what? What? Did something happen between Kanji and Naoto-kun? Well, that aside, is it me or does the town seem kind of strange? Everyone is in high spirits for some reason, and they all talk about other people, but never themselves. Really? I don't think it's anything special. Now that the murder case is solved, people feel relaxed, that's all. That's how society is. They all just want to get in on the latest trend. People get excited fast and lose interest even faster. It goes round and round. There's no underlying reason for it. I don't know. It still seems a little too weird. It's like they're all afraid of something. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I just had this feeling. Huh. It's gonna rain again tonight. We should check the Midnight Channel just in case. Oh, welcome back!
You said people only show up clearly on TV once they're thrown into that other world, right? The hell's going on? I thought we caught the damn killer! You're right. Sorry, I called out of the blue. Being a detective, solving cases, it ain't worth shit if he gets himself kidnapped. Damn, that idiot pisses me off. Anyways, let's get the gang together and meet first thing after school. Last night on TV, that was Naoto Kun for sure. What's the verdict, Teddy? Is he really in there? I do smell someone. It's just like before. Nothing's changed. Like before. Of course! That's why Naoto Kun appeared on the news so suddenly. He said something didn't seem right and that he wasn't convinced. He also believed that the people who are kidnapped appear on TV first, remember? Wait, you're saying he's using himself as bait? We came to the same conclusion he did, about how people who become famous through TV would disappear. Could he be trying to prove the theory by using himself? You mean he got kidnapped on purpose? That's crazy! He could be killed! He said, this is not a game for me either. It's all my fault. I'm the one that said that to him. Idiot! Why the hell did he just tell us? He knew we'd stop him if he did. Instead, he left us clues so we could figure it out and... I know! That son of a... But, but what about the killer the police are holding now? Mitsuo did kill King Moron, right? Didn't Naoto Kun mention this? Something about Mr. Moroka's case being different from the other two because the cause of death was certain. Then is King Moron the only one Mitsuo killed? That'd explain why there were no signs of King Moron being thrown into the TV. The killer didn't change his methods for King Moron. It just seemed that way because it was done by someone else. Then whoever kidnapped Naoto Kun, that's. But, but wait a sec. Didn't Mitsuo say he was the one behind it all? Why would he take the blame for someone else's crime? Isn't that weird? And they said on the news that the culprit confessed to the other murders too. There's also something else that's been bothering me, but... Uh... To hell with someone who's behind bars! If we don't get off our asses, that stupid Naoto's gonna die in there! We gotta go find... Someone's definitely in here, and the world seems to have grown larger. That's amazing, Risei-chan. There's no way my nose can pick up that much. Shall I give you a massage? Don't bother her. It's the same as last time. I know he's here, but I can't tell where. I need something that'll help me understand him. I need some clues. Without that, I have no idea which way we should look. Damn it! There's too much we don't know about that kid. But if we don't do something, he's gonna... Hey, snap out of it! This is just like all the other times. Let's not panic, keep an eye on the weather, and do this like always. First, we need to look for something that'll help us locate him. I, I know. I, I wasn't panicking. We know he's over here. So all we gotta do is get him out. I'm sorry I couldn't find him. All I need is some kind of hint to help me understand him better. 
Then I could find him for sure. Hi.
Hehehehehehe <laughs> Thank you.
We're all here now. All right. Did you... I... So he... But it seems like it's rare for Naoto-kun to get so worked up over something. Okay, I've got a good feel for him. I think I can do this. It won't take long for me to find him with my persona, so be ready to follow me once I do. What is this place? It's all sci-fi. Hey, doesn't it remind you of those secret hideouts in live action shows? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to watch Featherman all the time when I was a kid. I hear that those are really tough shoots. A lot of the actors do their own stunts, like jumping through fire themselves. Well, it's every man's dream to do that stuff. Yeah, I can understand that. They're action-based, like kung fu movies. And just the phrase secret hideout has this exciting ring to it. Actually, when I was a kid, I had my own secret place near the mountain by Yukiko's house. I'd pretend that a legendary kung fu master was teaching me special techniques. What the? You got it all wrong. But hey, so this secret hideout thing, it came from Naoto's mind? I guess our proper boy detective isn't as grown up as he looked. All right, let's get going. <laughs> 